Hi, I'm Carrie from Penny Modern, and I'm here today to review the 360 Robot Vacuum Mop, and it's the model C50. I bought it on Amazon. It was about $150. I just got it a few days ago, so I wanted to review it for you guys. I'm not a professional product reviewer. Just so you know, I'm a busy mom, and I have a little blog called Penny Modern, and um, just thought I'd share my experience with other people. So I wanted to show you first and foremost, the actual robot. <laughs> it is a vacuum and a mop. And this button right here, you can press that and it'll clean it. It also has the on off switch. And then the bottom, it has a roller brush like a traditional vacuum. And then it also has these little rotating brushes, two of them. And it has some sensors. There's the wheels. Um, it's pretty heavy, so um, it seems like very good quality, even though it has a vacuum and a mop, and it's only 150 bucks. Um, I thought I would give it a try. So it also comes with the charger. So this is the charging station. You just plug that into the wall. It actually has a few different types of plugs that you can use for different countries. It has a mopping attachment. So you would just take the dustbin, which is pretty big here, so there's a button you push, dustbin comes out, and then you can put in the, you fill it with water, and then you add the mopping attachment, like that. And then this thing is a Velcro thing, and it'll just, it'll wet it with the water that's in there. Uh, and then it also comes with a remote. Uh, the remote is pretty responsive, it also has an app called 360 Robot that you can use and download on your phone and you kind of connect um, the robot with your app and there's instructions for that in the box along with the manual in several different languages. I just speak English, but hey, it's pretty cool. They have it in German and all, all different kinds of stuff. So um, my experience with this was really good. I've used it for the last day. I let it uh, mop and also vacuum. And the biggest pros are there's actually, um, well, the biggest pro to me is there's a vacuum and a mop in the same machine. Um, so that's really cool. And that they have a big container for, for water and for dust. So if I have my whole first level is um, vinyl, like luxury vinyl plank. So I have a lot of floor. Um, so I needed something that you know could handle a big area. And the other thing that I like, that I thought was a drawback was it was pretty loud, but I discovered after using it, there's actually four different suction settings. There's like quiet mode, all the way to like powerful mode. And with each suction mode, it's louder than the, the last. So you can go on quiet mode, it's super quiet. So if it's on quiet mode, and even the mop function was very quiet, you, you know, a baby could be sleeping, like not in the room, but in your house, or you could probably be on a, a Zoom conference call or something like that and have um, this thing going in the background. So I really love that there's different settings for making it quiet to all the way to loud. Um, and then I think the more powerful modes are better for carpet. So it'll help get a lot of the, the stuff out of the carpet. The other thing I like is the cleaning pattern. I had a D-Bot, like a lower end, like cheaper D-Bot, and the pattern was <laughs> like ping pong, like if you were blindfolded or something, but this, um, the 360 C50 actually has, a, the default pattern is it's super like methodical and it just goes back and forth like this in, in straight lines and it, and it cleans like your whole room and just like that and i was like oh this is great and so you actually know it's like hitting your entire room um, it also has different modes so it'll go um, just on the edges if you want it'll do spot cleaning um, and it actually even knows if you put the mop in it knows to it, it's mopping and so it, it kind of recognizes if they're if it's supposed to be vacuuming or mopping it does not vacuum and mop at the same time the other thing is i don't know about well, the power you know the battery life probably isn't the best it says is i think it's rated at 90 minutes i would say it's about there so i think if you have a large space like i do you would probably have to vacuum um, then charge it and then mop um, unless you just did like your kitchen you probably could do that all in one charge like it did i did a mop in my kitchen i have kind of a small kitchen 
it only took like six minutes to do the whole thing and mop it. I was like, this is great. And all I have to do is like kind of fiddle with this. I don't have to deal with like a mop bucket and dumping the water somewhere and like all that stuff. So I really liked um, how quickly it did a mop. So I think if you just had like a kitchen and you want to keep that clean because it always gets super dirty, you could do the vacuum in there. That would probably take like five or six minutes and then do the mop and be five or six minutes for your kitchen. So, I mean, it'll help really help you keep your, your kitchen or whatever, any area of your house really clean. So anyway, I give it two thumbs up. I think this is a good buy for 150 bucks. It definitely works. And um, you can go to my blog, pennymodern.com. I have links there um, to this review and also the links to Amazon where you can buy it. Um, and I hope you enjoy. So talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, so now we're gonna test the vacuum a little bit more, some of the different settings. So we'll just hit clean. And now it is a little bit louder. And I am, um, I'm starting to figure out some of the settings. So actually this button here, this plus button, that actually turns up or down the sound, like the, and which is actually the, um, the suction. And so if you listen, it just got louder. So that's the most powerful mode. I just put it on quiet mode there. So see how much how much uh, quieter it is? And now I have some rice here. I'm gonna put it, do a test. It is kicking a little bit, you know, under the fridge. But it did get a lot of the rice, I would say. It's kind of hard to see. But it's getting quite a bit of the rice, so that's good. But listen to how quiet it is, so that's really nice. And then if I do it on the loudest, I think that's the most powerful suction and it's also the loudest. So I think that's really cool that it'll, it'll change. You can put it in quiet mode if you're somebody sleeping or something like that. Um, or you can put it in the, the louder mode if you really have a really dirty floor and you need a lot of suction. And then that's the quietest mode. Okay, I did want to quickly show you guys the 360 Smart Life um, C50 on carpet. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, remote. Get it started. Let's see how this baby does on carpet. Definitely a little louder on the hard floor than the carpet. Let's see if we can make it over. Okay, good. All right. And that was nice. It got actually over the edge. It didn't get stuck. Okay, we're gonna test the mopping function of the 360 robot vacuum mop C50. I did put a little tiny bit of coffee over here, see if it mops that up, but I have the mopping pad and mopping um, uh, compartment on that I filled with water. And we're gonna try to do spot clean and see how it works. Okay. So this is the mopping function. We'll see how how well it does here. It is a lot of water, I would say. It's leaving behind. So it's getting the floor pretty wet. 
and it's just water. So the one thing I'm, you know, I'm envisioning for this to be doing is more like a kind of maintenance in between when we do a full mop. Um, we just want to kind of use it maybe during the week, once or twice during the week to mainly mop, honestly, the kitchen area because it gets really dirty in here. And that way maybe, um, you know, it just won't be as, as dirty it, when we go in between our full regular mopping cycle. So it looks like with the circular motion, it went around in a circle and now it's kind of back where it started. I'm going to pause it. Take a break. 